and their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest unto Sephar a mount of the east. Genesis 10:30. And their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest unto Zephar, a mount of the east. Mesha, which is thought to be the Musa of Ptolemy and Pliny, was a famous port in the Red Sea, frequented by the merchants of Egypt and Ethiopia, from which the Sapphirites lay directly eastward, to whose country they used to go for myrrh and frankincense, and the like, of which Sephar was the metropolis, and which was at the foot of Climax, a range of mountains, which perhaps might be formerly called Sephar, from the city at the bottom of it, the same with Zephar here by inspecting Ptolemy's tables, the way from one to the other is easily discerned, where you first meet with Musa, a port in the Red Sea, then Oslis, then the Martarabia, then Cain, and so on to Safhar or Saphara, and so Pliny says, there is a third port which is called Musa, which the navigation to India does not put into, only the merchants of frankincense and Arabian odors the towns in the inland are the royal seats of Far, and another called Sabe, now the sons of Joktan had their habitations all from this. Part in the west unto Zephar or Safar eastward, and those were reckoned the genuine Arabs. Hilarus gives a different account of the situation of the children of Joktan, as he thinks, agreeably to these words of Moses, understanding by Kedem, rendered the east, the mountains of Kedem, or the Kedemites, which sprung from Kedem or Kedoma, the youngest son of Ishmael, Genesis 25:15, and Zephar, the seat of the Sephadites, as between Mesha and Kedem, for, says he, Mesha is not Musa, a mart of the Red Sea, but Mosca, a famous port of the Indian Sea, of which Arian and Ptolemy make mention, and from hence the dwelling of the Joktanites was extended, in the way you go through the Sephadites to the mountainous places of Kedem or Cadmus perhaps nearer the truth may be the Arabic paraphrase of Sa'adia, which is from Mecca till you come to the city of the eastern mountain, or as in a manuscript, to the eastern city meaning perhaps Medina, situate to the east, so that the sense is, according to this paraphrase, that the sons of Joktan had their dwelling from Mecca to Medina, and so are, Zakuth says, Mesha in the Arabic tongue is called Mecca, and it is a point agreed upon by the Arabs that Mesha was one of the most ancient names of Mecca, they believe that all the mountainous part of the region producing frankincense went in the earliest times by the name of Sephar, from when Scolias concludes this tract to, be the Mount Zephar of Moses, a strong presumption of the truth of which is that Dhafar, the same with the modern Arabs as the ancient Safar, is the name of a town in Shir, the only province in Arabia bearing frankincense on the coast of the Indian Ocean.